Hey everyone, in this video I want to talk about setting up service health alerts. This is so critical that every single subscription should have this. So rather than we do my normal, hey, let's take a step back and draw it, I just wanna show this to you and the actions you can complete in two minutes to put yourselves in a really good position. So here I'm in the Azure portal. So here I'm just in portal.azure.com. Now from here, I'm scrolling down to the bottom area and I have help and support. So I'm just gonna select help and support. If you can't find it, I can always just search in the menu and there's help and support. And what I want to go to is in the support area, we have this idea of service health. So we're gonna select service health and straight away within here, I could go and look at, well, I can see my environment is healthy. I could look at health history and for example, I could change the range to the last three months and I'll get an idea of the types of pieces of information that this will tell me. Now it's gonna tell me things about what well, problems that have happened, the root cause analysis, the RCA of some previous outage. It's gonna tell me about all well, action required. There's something I need to do to ensure the ongoing operation of some type of resource there might be actions that are recommended to again ensure the ongoing operation of some type of resource. There might be notifications of routine maintenance that are coming. So routine advanced maintenance notifications. So these are all important things that I want to know about. And I can absolutely go to this board and we can see they're not that often. So I may get one or two a week. But rather than have to look at these, what we wanna do is create service health alerts. We scroll back up to the top of the page. We have this create service health alert. I target a subscription at a time. So if I have multiple subscriptions, I wanna do this on every subscription. It's gonna repeat this process. Our conditions we can leave as the default. Now, it's gonna configure it for every single possible service, but it's even telling me look, leave it as all services, you're only gonna get notified impacting the services that exist within your subscription. I could trim down the regions if I'm only ever gonna use specific regions. If you do trim them down, make sure you remember to leave global configured because there are some services that aren't tied to a region, so I definitely want that. For me, I would just leave it as all of them. If I get an extra email, hey, it still might be nice to know about the type of actions that are going on. And I want all of the event types. So service issues, plan maintenance, health advisories, and security advisories. So I'm leaving that alone. Now for the actions, this is using the regular Azure Monitor action groups. If you already have one that exists that is going to notify the people you want to notify, I could just select it and for example, select the admin email one I've created. If you don't have one, or you're not sure it's gonna meet your needs, we can just create one. It's super easy. Like any other region, we have to create it into a resource group. So I'm just gonna say my dedicated, I'm gonna give it a name. So I might say notify sub owners and contributors. So I'll actually use this as, no, it's the same display name, so I'll say notify subs. And then for the actual notifications, there's two different types of notification I can do here. I can notify people that have a particular role within the subscription. So if I select the first one, email Azure Resource Manager role, then I can select, hey, anyone that has this role I want you to alert. So I might say everyone that is an owner. So I could select, okay, well, let's notify all of the owners. And yeah, I'll enable the common alert scheme. It's just a, a structure. Or if you don't want to use that, you could leave it as the default. No, whatever you want to do. So this is going to be email owners. I could add another one. I could do exactly the same again, except this time I'll email the contributors. 
So this could be email contributors. So as long as you're keeping the owner and contributor roles healthy in the subscription, you update it as people join and leave, this might be great. I might also want to just email specific people, but ideally rather than specific people, email if this subscription is owned by an application, maybe you have an app group distribution list at your company, which will then email everyone that is part of that list. So I could add that to it as well. So this would be email app team. So I can just create this list of people that I want to get notified. I don't need to have any actions. However, take note of the actions that are available. If you have an ITSM, a ticketing system, I could integrate with that ITSM system very easily. And my action could be, hey, if there's a service health alert, go and create a ticket and assign it to the app team. Or I could call some other webhook, a secure webhook, an Azure function. I have a lot of options here. And I can just go through and I would hit create. So that would create that action group. And remember, all we're doing is we're adding that action group of who is going to get notified when we have these service health alerts. For my details, again, it has to create it in a resource group. So I'm just going to put that same dedicated. And this is going to be notify of service health alerts. And you would put in a description explaining what this is. Hit review and hit create and you're done. If you're not sure if this exists for you already, well, firstly, I could go and look at health alerts. So do I have any alerting around this? And once again, from here, it's giving me this option to go and set the service health alerts up. But if I just go over to monitoring and under monitor, go to alerts and go to my alert rules. So I've gone to alerts and then alert rules. What I'd be looking for, because this is just using the standard Azure Monitor alerting, it's just bringing it to the forefront to make sure, hey, we really want to do this thing. All I'm looking for is a signal type where it's service health. So I would go and check, hey, is there one that's using service health? I could then go and look at it. And I could actually look at now, well, what does this do? And here I can see, oh, okay, well, I've got all the services, all the regions, all the event types selected, that's good. Okay, my actions are, I'm notifying this action group. I could go and check, well, who is actually in that group? Is it out of date? Do I need to update it? Hey, I can always go and change that as required. So this is gonna ensure I am getting those alerts. And once I've got this configured, remember it's gonna, well, I'll see it in my alerts. I'll see them and I can always come back here and go and look at my service health, go and look at my health alerts. And it's just gonna bring it to the forefront. But rather than having to actually go and look at the portal periodically to look at them, just go and set up that notification. And it really is simple. And so if I think about, hey, I am using those Azure Resource Manager roles on my subscription, I have owners, I have contributors, keep them current. I mean, that's really the important thing. And that should be something you wanna do anyway. I don't want people having lingering permissions to my subscriptions. I wanna keep it accurate. So as people join the team, as people leave the team, maybe I'm using groups to assign that. That's a really nice way of doing it. But make sure you have that. That ITSM integration is really nice. Educate the team. So don't just set this up and they suddenly get these emails. There's always a danger of information and noise, and this shouldn't become noise, but make sure you stress to the team how important these things are, and I should read them and act on them. If there is one, we'll build it into the next team meeting to say, let's discuss this. What's the implication for our application? Do I need to do something? In my next sprint, do I need to modify some um, resilience feature? Do I need to modify some certificate? And that's really all it is. So just to summarize again, because we know I have to draw something. We have the idea, remember, because we have to repeat this for every subscription. 
So I have my subscription one. And remember, on that subscription, we have role-based access control, and we assign very few people, maybe almost no one other than maybe a DevOps pipeline, the owner role, which is why it's important to take note of who has the roles. It's no good setting this up to notify owner if no one has owner role. If I have owner locked away to a DevOps pipeline, it's useless. So I would go and look at, well, maybe who has contributor roles. So I would go and look at those things. And remember, that's very easy to check. If I just go over and look at my subscription, I would pick my subscription and then go to my access control over here. I can look at my role assignments. So you're just checking, well, who has contributor? Who has owner? Or maybe there's those monitoring. There are other options available to me. But keep those healthy. So when I, I think about this, and this is not even about service health, this is just good operational practices make sure you keep all of the roles healthy in your environment. But I think about those things. And then what I'm going to do is remember on that subscription, well, we have that activity log, which is everything at the control plane level about it. Well, the reality is within that activity log is where we actually get these service health notifications are actually added. So then what I want to do is create an alert rule. And my trigger, what's gonna make this fire, is that. Hey, there's service health notification. Let's trigger this alert rule I've just created. And then what I'm doing is for my actions, my action is just I'm gonna email and I'm gonna email, well, maybe it's one or both of those roles. Maybe it's, I'm gonna email some uh, distribution list. I've got some DL as part of my application team. Maybe it's a central monitoring team who will then go and notify the apps that would be impacted. Hey, maybe instead of email, I'm gonna integrate with some ITSM system that I've got and that ITSM system sitting out here could be anything. For example, ServiceNow. So I've got some ITSM and I'm gonna create a ticket, which would then get assigned and actioned in some way. That's all we're doing. We're thinking about, hey, for each subscription, we're gonna go and set up this alert rule that's gonna trigger off of service health things, that's gonna email certain roles, which is great as long as we keep those up to date and healthy and or, hey, I'm gonna email a distribution list that maybe contains all of the people that are responsible for the services running in that subscription. I'm gonna make sure I'm educating. So there's this communication scheme about, hey, you're gonna start getting these emails. These are really important things. Take a second, comprehend what it's telling you, and then plan in what actions do we need to take. Don't assume someone else is gonna take care of it. Build it into our change control process, our next sprint make sure we're doing something. And at least now you're at a base, bare minimum. Now you should also then build on another alerting for my infrastructure, is it healthy, is my database healthy, maybe is my app healthy? But just at our base level, every single subscription should have this configured. Every single person is responsible for some service that uses Azure, if I'm responsible for that, I should be the recipient of these service health alerts. I can set this up with things like templates. I'll have a link in the description of an ARM template so I could make this just part of my regular when I create a subscription. It's automatically gonna email owners and contributors, for example. Um, that was it. Didn't wanna talk about anything else. This is so important. I just wanted to make that the focus. I hope that was helpful. Take care.